It is shown in reports and charts that the Bitcoin Lightning Network is growing at an incredibly fast and phenomenal rate. If given the choice, is the Bitcoin Lightning Network payment option preferred over payments using all coins? In this report, we cover a case where for an online platform, the Lightning Network transactions are literally much more than other on-coin payments. Also, for this video, we will help briefly explain what the Lightning Network actually is, how it fundamentally works, and what benefits it provides. Hello YouTube, I'm Eugene, and if you find this Lightning Network topic interesting, I highly recommend that you continue watching till the end of this video. Before our main story, here are the top 5 popular crypto news in no particular order. Fidelity Chief Executive Officer Abigail Johnson, who is known to be a supporter of digital assets, has indicated that Fidelity Investments is aiming to launch its Bitcoin custodial service by March this year. This announcement is to support Fidelity's initial drive to gain customers' faith in Fidelity for its interest in digital assets since its initial indication last year. However, the application for its new custodial services may be limited to selected clients based on certain factors de determined by Fidelity. Leferendo.de is Germany's largest online food delivery platform. It has just surpassed 13,000 restaurants and food outlets. What is important is that Leferendo accepts Bitcoin for payment and there is no charge fees for accepting Bitcoin. This is in contrast to credit card and PayPal payments which comes with an additional fee of 6%. According to Takeaway, the company which owns Leferendo.de, the Bitcoin payment option has been well received not just in Germany but also in Netherlands, Austria and Poland. For Rakuten, due to a rising number of merchants and customers requesting using cryptocurrencies as a mode of payment on Rakuten's e-commerce website, it is believed that Rakuten will proceed to do so. Rakuten is one of Japan's biggest e-commerce companies and they made a statement saying, quote, the role of cryptocurrency-based payments in e-commerce, offline retail and in peer-to-peer -peer payments will grow in the future, close quote. Rakuten hence believes that applying cryptocurrencies as a form of payment will ensure that transactions will be facilitated much easier for their merchants and customers. In Belarus, two ventures, namely VP Capital and Lanable Ventures, have successfully launched the world's first crypto to asset investment platform. This platform allows Belarusians to purchase traditional assets such as gold, oil and listed company shares using Bitcoin and cryptos. This platform has been approved by the Belarus government and was announced on state news. With this innovative project, the two companies are optimistic that their country's economy will be transformed through the boost of foreign investments. The New York City Economic Development Corporation NYCEDC, announced the opening of its 4,000 square foot blockchain center located in Chelsea by January this year. This center will provide blockchain related services such as lectures and classes on blockchain related programming skills for developers. Anna Arino, who is the Chief Strategy Officer at NYCEDC, mentioned that the NYCEDC wants to be part of the community boosting the blockchain technology in future. This will help New York to stay competitive globally in the pursuit for the development blockchain technology. Now for our main story. Too many supporters of the Bitcoin Lightning Network this innovative Bitcoin sidechain development is the solution to the congestion problem that can occur within the Bitcoin blockchain network. The Bitcoin verification congestion did occur before as we experienced in the late of 2017, when the mempool holding the pending transactions for mining verifications became overloaded. Not only did it cause payments to be on hold, but the transaction fees went up to very high amounts. 
Therefore, the Lightning Network will finally bring Bitcoin much closer to global adoption as the Lightning Network will solve this Bitcoin congestion problem. If it does successfully solve potential congestion by being able to process high transaction volume, then can the Lightning Network ultimately prove that the other less secure altcoins which process high transaction volumes be redundant or less dominant? According to a news report from Forbes.com, there is a website that may indicate such a scenario. The online retailer BitRefill.com do accept a range of cryptocurrencies for their online payments from their 130,000 or more worldwide customers. BitRefill.com is an online platform that allows their 130,000 global customers to purchase gift cards, prepaid phone time, home bill payments and other popular items using cryptocurrency. We went ahead to perform some research on this popular portal. According to Lexa.com, BitRefill.com is currently ranked the top 218,600 sites of the 1 billion sites that Alexa indexes. The top 5 countries which visitors come to serve BitRefill.com are Germany, United States, Afghanistan, Egypt and India. According to the traffic analytics website trafficestimate.com, the website BitRefill currently receives 121,000 visitors a month. Among the cryptos that can be used to make payments include Bitcoin, Dash, Dogecoin, Litecoin, Ethereum and Bitcoin Lightning Network. However, according to Mr. John Carvalho from BitRefill, the current transaction volume through the Bitcoin Lightning Network stands the highest. In fact, the Bitcoin Lightning Network payments is twice of most of the altcoin payments. John Carvalho also highlighted that BitRefill actually works on Lightning Network projects, such as the Thor project. Thor is a payment service tool where it helps users to accept small Lightning Network payments. To many of our subscribers and viewers, the Bitcoin Lightning Network is still a new concept not yet fully understood. The Lightning Explorer, as seen here, looks sophisticated enough, but can we understand the Lightning Network concept better? Let us take a closer look. First, let's see where the transaction capacity stands for the different networks. The standard Bitcoin TPS or transactions per second is 7, Ethereum at 20 TPS, Litecoin 56, Bitcoin Cash 60, PayPal 193 and Visa at 24,000 transactions per second. The Lightning Network however is potentially capable of handling millions of transactions per second. The first Lightning Network white paper was published by Joseph Poon and Thedius Dreiger. There are many other white papers and developments that followed. The first white paper is 59 pages long, but to understand how the Lightning Network works, let's use the following brief illustrative example. In this example, two individuals, say Phillips and Mary, intend to perform multiple transaction payments in between themselves. If the Bitcoin blockchain is congested and if they intend to proceed to start making payments during this congestion period, then not only will their transactions may be pending for delayed verifications, but they will be subjected to high transaction fees for their transactions. This will be a big concern, especially if their transactions are micropayments. What the Lightning Network does is to allow them to set up a bi-directional payment channel between themselves that does not broadcast every transaction between them to the Bitcoin blockchain. This is also known as the off-chain approach to handling micropayments. To initiate the channel, both Philip and Mary will deposit an amount of Bitcoin in a multi-signature wallet address. This multi-signature wallet acts as a safe that can only be unlocked when both Philip and Mary sign a transaction with each of their private keys. The overall amount of Bitcoin to deposit into this wallet is the estimated amount of Bitcoin required for the accumulated net amount for all the transactions between them. For transparency, the opening of this channel between Philip and Mary 
is recorded on the main Bitcoin blockchain. This record also includes the amount of Bitcoin both of them have deposited into the multi-signature wallet. From this point, Philip and Mary are able to perform unlimited amount of transactions between themselves. They will, however, constantly update a copy of a balance sheet they have. This copy of the balance sheet is constantly signed by each of them and is kept separately from the main Bitcoin blockchain. By constantly signing each update, fraud is prevented and so that neither party will hold the deposit hostage. To close the payment channel, either Philip and Mary will need to broadcast to the main Bitcoin blockchain. After the miners verify their signatures and validate that the transactions are to par, the balance funds stored in the multi-signature wallet are released to both the parties in accordance to the verified balance sheet. Since these sidechain payments are taking place away from the main Bitcoin blockchain, there is no limit to how many sidechain transactions can take place. This off-chain approach reduces a lot of strain on the Bitcoin main chain. Hence, with the operation of the Lightning Network, Bitcoin can then potentially handle millions of transactions per second. This will bring Bitcoin closer to global adoption. To have a glance of the current number of channels and stored Bitcoin value in the current live Lightning Network, you can visit p2sh.info backslash dashboard backslash db backslash Lightning Network. I will also leave the link in the description below. Before we end off this video, we would like to highlight that we will be testing the new BitClub Auto Trader. It is reported to be helping investors earn a monthly average somewhere between 10 to 30 percent monthly. Furthermore, it is safe as it uses the API key for remote trading of investors' third party accounts, such as Bitrix or Binance. Once our testing results are out, we will post the results in our future weekly videos. Therefore, please stay tuned for our weekly reports that we will start publishing soon. We hope you have liked our video. It will be great if you could give this video a thumbs up. If you have any opinions, please share your comments below. Until the next video, have a fantastic week ahead. Blockchain 360